Hello, this is Rusty Williamson with another cool tutorial. Today we'll be creating this fiery explosion. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, we'll get started. We'll do new. Well, first we'll stop this. We'll do new. New project. New composition. It can be 1920 by 1080. Square pixels, 30 frames per second. Make it uh, 4 seconds is okay. Then we'll create a solid. We'll make the solid a white solid. And we'll take the pen tool and create a shape like this. I'll straighten it up a little bit. Sort of like a fat teardrop. We hit F and feather it. Then we'll select the layer, pre-compose it. There we go. We'll call this part particle. Move all attributes to the new composition and say OK. And we'll go back to our comp one. We'll create a new layer, new solid, and we'll call this solid particles. And we'll add the effect CC particle world. All right, we'll open the producer. And first, we'll hide our particle so we can see what we're doing, and we'll advance the time frame. All right, we'll lower the Y position till it's almost at the bottom. Then we'll open the physics and change it, the animation type from explosive to fire. We'll change the particle type from line to texture faded disk. Open up the texture and change the texture layer to our particle layer. Then we'll up the birth size until it's solid. And we'll up the death size until it's solid. Let's see what we have. That looks about right. Now we'll put it at frame zero. And we'll keyframe the birth rate. Come out to about one second. And let's reel this in. Come out until, your, until the particles have about reached halfway, a little more than halfway up. And then set the birth rate to zero. Now let's see what we have. Let's uh, shorten our composition to two seconds. Okay, we need to up our death rate a little more. Now let's see what we've got. Our death rate needs to go up just a little. Let's see. We don't want particles lagging behind too much. The 
still don't like it. That looks a little better. We'll select both layers, pre-compose them, and call this shape. Okay, we'll go back to comp one. We'll create a new layer, a new solid. We'll call this noise. And we'll add fractal noise to it. We'll change it from basic to dynamic twist. We'll up the contrast a little, down the brightness a little. say about a negative nine. Then we'll open the transform properties and alt click on the offset turbulence. We'll enter open bracket zero comma time times a negative 750. Close bracket. Then we'll alt click the evolution Enter time times 350. Let's see what we've got. All right, let's drag our noise layer down below our shape layer. Alright, now let's set the track mat to alpha mat shape. That's looking pretty good. Select both layers, pre-compose, and call this texture. Go back to our comp one. And left click, I'm sorry, right click on the layer and select time, enable time remapping. And let's speed this up. We'll say about there. All right, let's add an adjustment layer and add to that Color Vibrance, which is a free plugin from Video Copilot. We'll change this to a fiery color. Let's look at it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, let's duplicate our texture layer. And add glow to it. We'll hit T for transparency. Turn down the transparency so that our, the detail of our fractal noise still comes out. maybe about 80. Oh, 
Okay, finally, we'll add another adjustment layer. And we'll add time warp to it. And we will slide it over. Take a look at our explosion. And it's about halfway, right about in there. We'll slide our later layer back over so that we slow it down right there. Now let's see what it looks like. There. That looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a short one, but kind of interesting and kind of cool. Give it a like if you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.